My name's Rathi, I'm a member of the SHA and I'm on the Central Council. I'm attending this conference because this is our, you know, flagship event for this year, coinciding with the 75th birthday of the NHS. I was on a, an amazing panel with speakers from Extinction Rebellion, from Patients Not Passports, War on Want, um, Academia. And so the range of topics discussed were around overseas charging for um, asylum seekers and undocumented migrants. It was talking about um, the global north-south divide and how the countries in the global south are um, disadvantaged by the policies that we hold in the in the global north and the economic policies in particular about the impact of climate on our bodies um, on our society and, and on, on our communities and um, comrades globally and about funding and about how we shouldn't be afraid of investment to shore up our our public services ensure that they're there for the hundredth anniversary um, and it's a false economy to think that we shouldn't um, invest that we shouldn't bring things into public ownership. Think about people who've come from elsewhere. You know, we are essentially one global community. Charging people who've come from somewhere else to use the NHS is a false economy. It's less than 1%, or it's less than half a percent of the overall NHS budget. We spend more on trying to recoup these costs from people who are financially destitute and have traveled through terrible conditions to get here. And so it doesn't make sense financially. It only makes sense ideologically. And it is the first step in a creeping privatisation of care. So today they are charging people who came from somewhere else. Who are they going to charge tomorrow? And that could be us. This belongs to all of us and hopefully today we've all been inspired to fight harder to, to keep it.